got off to a tough start defensively in the first half, but uh, played better defensively early in the second half to get back in the game, but it kind of went away uh, down the stretch. What were your thoughts on, on it tonight? <laughs> I think a couple times we went, we went under screens and uh, they just stopped behind and popped them. You know, it was a uh, scouting scouting report specific. Um, second half we really keyed in defensively, got some some consecutive stops, and they were kind of led us offensively. Twenty three in your last game, uh, I think it was twenty five or twenty six for you tonight. Are you starting to get more comfortable? Uh, you got off to probably a little bit more of a slow start than you thought, but uh, really coming on the last couple of games. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting more comfortable. You, you get more comfortable with anything you keep doing. So uh, I'm going to just keep staying consistent on my workouts, keep working out um, late, early, and uh, hopefully I can keep having good results. What happened to that last possession? Did you just lose the hand or you just knocked away or what, what happened? I just slipped. Um, my, my foot slipped. I tried to make a move at the end. I don't know. I just slipped and fell. I just tried to do my best to keep it in play to Dev. And Dev threw it to Chris. What was what was the original plan on that, that for the last shot over time? What was what were you guys wanted to do? Um, we drew up a play. Um, it kind of didn't work at the end. So then it was just it was just uh, ball screen. You know, our, our normal offense. Uh, I got a high pick and roll. I tried to go off it. Threw it to Dev. He threw it back. And then that's when I slipped. We Second double double in a row, but uh, you guys couldn't come out with the win. Uh, what, what was the issue defensively night from how you saw it? Um, I would just say um, I think our coaching staff does a great um, job on our scouting reports. I think we have to take it more seriously um, in pre practice, um, just going over the plays because uh, we knew they had a lot of shooters, but we kept going under screens. Myself, I kept going under screens in the first half, um, just letting them shoot, and I felt like that um, got us off to a bad start. You got us got off to a great start in the second half, though, defensively. Uh, what was the message at halftime? Um, but it's just, just, just what I just said. Just um, focus on the scout report. Um, our staff does a great job at that, and we, we weren't doing that in the first half. You guys have been uh, competitive, you know, this year, even tonight, and, um, and overall, it's probably a better team than it, than it was last year. What was this message to you within the, after tonight's game? Um, just basically what I just said. Um, he was a little disappointed um, that we let this one slip away. He thought we played really well in the first half. I mean, in the second half, and um, he thought um, we didn't do our job in the first half. Not a Perfect look, obviously, on that yeah. last shot, falling away, but at least it was uncontested. You yeah. get a good opportunity to have, make, have it go in. Yeah, um, it was just a scramble play. I just tried to hurry up and get it up for the time and all. Did you feel like you had a chance to, I mean, did it look like it had a chance to go in from your vantage point? Or? Uh, from my vantage point, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to go in, but it didn't. It was kind of rough. We have a tendency of doing that, but uh, yeah, I have no idea. So there's something you can like attribute to that? You're not really sure, just kind of picking up the pace as you go? Yeah, we just have to play like our first half, like we do our seconds, and uh, it's just energy and just being intense from the get-go, and we got to change that now. What was it like against playing against Joey for the first time? Uh, it, was, it was weird, you know, just seeing his face, you know, different colors, but uh, yeah. This is weird. Do yeah. you feel like that this could have been a stepping stone for the rest of the season? Do you guys feel like you have to kind of bounce back after a win that really could have put you all looking good? Yeah. Um, yeah, that would have been great. But um, yeah, that was like the next little step, stepping stone that we had to beat them. But um, unfortunately, we did. But now we got to cover up for that loss. What was the uh, main issue defensively in the first half? Uh, we couldn't guard them. I thought they were really good. Uh, I think the stuff that Coach has them doing offensively is really good. I think uh, Demps and McIntosh are, uh, understand that stuff, execute that stuff. I think Alex does a good job of creating space for those guys. I thought they played really well. They were shooting a lot better than 57% uh, for most of the half. What was the difference for, uh, for Seth tonight? Just shots falling? Is that, is that simple or better looks? Mm, I thought he was a little bit more efficient. Um, he always teeters on the line of being efficient and being inefficient. Um, I thought it was better. What did you see on that last play? What were you what were you looking for when you drew it up at, at the timeout? Um, this is some of the stuff we ran last year. 
uh, in that type of situation. Uh, we didn't execute it. Uh, Demps did a great job of bottling Seth up. Uh, you have to be able to go somewhere on the bounce in that play, otherwise it doesn't work. So it stalled out pretty quick, and we probably dribbled 11 times and then threw up a prayer. It seemed like uh, Zach was forcing some things early on in this game that just didn't get up to a rhythm. Yeah, I would agree completely with that. Seth said that a big difference in the second half was you guys were able to get into the paint more. Uh, what was Northwestern doing to keep you guys from getting into the paint, getting those paint touches? Um, I don't. I don't know if Coach Collins did anything different at halftime or not. Uh, I think our mentality was different on both ends of the floor. Um, we, we we are built for paint touches. Um, if we just stay around the perimeter and take empty dribbles and shoot contested shots, we'll struggle. Uh, as you've seen so far this year, um, when we're when we're going somewhere with the pass or the bounce, we're much more effective. I don't know that that's specific to our team. I think you could probably say that about every team in the country. You have to forgive me, I didn't see you guys on, on Saturday, or yeah, Saturday, but uh, more of Satch tonight, less of Johnny. Was there a particular reason for that? Uh, I thought the matchup was good. I thought Satch played great. What, what about his performance was, was necessarily great? I thought he matched Ola okay. I thought his ball screen coverage was really good. A uh, little favor in his game when we hit the ball and it went to the roof and dropped in. Uh, I think it says a lot about his character to sit over there and not play for three games and then come in and be as productive as he was. Obviously, Chris had another productive night. Still looks a little wild at times. Are you trying to, to reel him in a little bit, or are you pretty happy <coughs> with the level of aggressiveness that he's playing with right now? Yeah, I would say we, we want all those guys to be a little bit more efficient. Um, not to be Herm Edwards, but the goal is to win. And, uh, you know, so... We, we, we need to become much more efficient in what we're doing defensively and offensively. We try to create uh, a scoring contest, and that normally doesn't work. Devin played 31 minutes today. Do you think he's uh, back to his old self? How do you, how do you evaluate how he did today? Uh, I think he's one of the best defensive rotation guards in the country. Uh, I think he's one of the better throw it ahead and transition guards. And uh, we got too many guys that the ball sticks in their hands it doesn't stick in his hand and he over overcompensates for a lot of the uh, deficiencies that we have on the weak side defensively so what was the uh, emotion of coaching against Joey tonight none none for you because he said it was very emotional for him to be back 